Hi guys, it's Priyanka here. Today I want to review for you Gangster Granny and Gangster Granny Strikes Again. They're both written by David Williams and illustrated by Tony Ross and published by HarperCollins. But before we get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to my great friend on Instagram called Tess from Kids Books We Love. She sent me not only Gangster Granny Strikes Again the sequel, but so many other amazing books which I will review for you soon. So, back to the book review. This is the story of an ordinary 12 year old English boy called Ben, who does not like spending time with his granny. He thinks his granny is boring and old, and unfortunately every Friday he has to stay the night at his granny's house and he does not enjoy it. But one special Friday night, he finds out a little secret about his granny that changes everything. Now I want to share with you the main characters of Gangster Granny and Gangster Granny Strikes Again. First we have Ben, as I said he's an ordinary 12 year old English boy and he dreams of being a plum when he grows up. His mum's name is Linda and she has a huge obsession over ballroom dancing. She's married to Peach who caught the ballroom bug from his wife and they both have a love for ballroom dancing superstar Flavio Flavioli. We will also meet Raj, he's good friends with Ben and he runs the local newsagent shop which is very messy and has such crazy deals. We will also meet Mr. Parker, he runs the local neighbourhood watch and he uses that as an excuse to spy on everyone. It's not very good when you have a secret or two to keep like Granny. Granny can be your average grandma, she smells like cabbages, she has a used tissue tucked up her sleeve at all times and she toots whenever she walks. And she's an international jewel thief that goes by the name The Black Cat. There's also one more surprise character that I'm not going to tell you, but I'll give you a hint. She's English and she's royal. Can you guess? In book one, gang in book one, Gangster Granny, Ben finds out a really cool secret about his granny, and they plan on going and the, and Ben plans on going to the most daring heist in history. Do they, do they succeed with his grandma and Ben? In book two, Grandma's not here anymore. But there's robberies happening. If the black cat's not here anymore, who's the new black cat? Now I want to share with you my top five faves most loved about Gangster Granny. Number one, showing respect to our elders. We don't usually show respect to our elders and I think it's very important and cool that David Williams, he can make such a funny and comedy book with such a heartwarming message of respecting our elders. Maybe visit your grandparents once a week or talk to them over the phone. I mean, they might have something to teach you. Maybe your grandma could teach you how to cook or knit or your grandpa could teach you how to build things or garden. I mean, everyone has a story to tell, you just need to ask for it. Number two, showing support to our kids' dreams. Ben had a dream of being a plumber when he grows up, and his parents didn't really approve of that. They wanted him to be a boring dancer, just like Flavio Flavioli. And Ben's parents, they loved him, but Ben didn't really feel that love, because Ben's parents didn't show the support that he needed for his dreams. So it's important that we do show that support to our kids. Number three, all the emotions that David Williams makes us feel during re re reading this book. I mean, for example, in one page you feel really sad and crying, and in the next page you just feel so happy. I like how David Williams puts like comedy and thrill and such a lovely message in one book. I, I really liked it. Number four, the interior designs. I'll show you now, but I like how for the beginning of each chapter, the Tony Ross, the illustrator, he puts like, um, all of these sort of scrabble letters and it's old just like granny and it's mentioned a lot in book two i also like how uh, i'll try to find some but david williams he puts like um all these sort of cool fonts for some kind of when he's trying to express words like cabbage big or cabbages or scrabble or fur or furry so i really like that um, and number five, the extras. I'll, I'll try to find it to show it to you, but um, David Williams, he puts all these funny extras at the back of the book. I'll go from the beginning. So first he has the thank yous, and then he has would you rather. He has which dance outfit. He also has a quiz, another quiz, and test your memory. How to bling your granny's ride and how to draw a gangster granny. I didn't draw it yet, but I will draw it and I'll show it to you in the next post, as you can see here. 
I loved everything about this book. It's not just the things I showed in the top five. I mean, there's not enough things I can show in the top five. I loved everything. It was so cool. This is probably my new favorite book. Well, I really hope you like this book review and I'll see you soon. Be sure to read this. Bye.